scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
in the spirit God is here you came for him this is part of the meeting this is how we do it here go ahead and sing in the spirit of the living God, we thank you. in the midst of his people. This is called koinonia. An encounter with an ability that is beyond the realm of men. No matter how hardened you are, I 
I truly hail you most high. I hail you. I worship you. presence of God is that one factor that must be present in any meeting for people to be changed. Pastor Jakes powerfully shared here that it's not enough to be instructed in righteousness. There must be an ability to receive it. He said the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. The spirit entered until it enters, you will be pretending it. The spirit entered. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh, holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Just take two or three minutes to pray in tongues before we sit down. <laughs> Somebody by your left and right and sit down if you can. We call this koinonia. Simply koinonia. The place of his presence. God is in the midst of for ye are come unto Mount Zion, that mount where there are innumerable companies of angels. 
the spirits of just men made perfect to the church of the firstborn where he has chosen to leave us with a charisma of his presence Adonai Lamb of God Truly you are worthy worthy of my praise King of kings Lord of lords tonight let your kingdom reign in our hearts Adonai Worthy, worthy of my praise, King of kings, you're the Lord of lords, let your kingdom reign in the heart, I It's not a special number. Let your kingdom come. Yeah. Let your kingdom come. This is our prayer. When his kingdom comes in your life, you will never be the same. Let his kingdom come upon that sick body. Let your kingdom come. First Thessalonians There are angels moving around just bringing impartations in people as we do. Mighty impartations of fire. This is what I see happening in the spirit. Your presence. Hallelujah. See, listen. No matter what you have, if you do not have his presence, you have nothing. I don't care what you have. That ultimate secret is his presence. You can fake power. You can fake anointing. But you cannot fake the presence of the mighty one. like him he's the lion and the lamb he's seated on the throne see this is not a special number mountains bow down every ocean roll to the Lord of Lord. just listen to me I'm ministering to your spirit who is this God? He's the lion and the lamb. 
seated on the throne. The Bible says the mountains keep like lambs in his presence. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. That is the one we serve. Mighty. Great and mighty. Full of majesty. And he brought you here to change your life. He brought you to do something in your life that no power in existence can stop. It is within his ability to create the change. Hallelujah. Listen. Many of you do not know. See, this is the ninth month and God is birthing a lot of things. It was in this month I began to talk about the miracle service from the first week. For as soon as Zion travails, she will put forth a son. All of the teachings that we have been building upon, sharing the secrets of the kingdom to prepare us for the things that the Holy Ghost is doing. Empre toko pa yada kava, sote tete kepata, membro toske bari kata, shebe kata yabo kosopa. I bless the divine upon the fountain of the spirit. Let there be a breaking, an opening of spirituality. I'm calling you higher, say the Spirit of God. I'm calling you climb up that mountain, say the Spirit of God. Climb up that mountain where your eyes will see clearer. Climb up that mountain. Climb up that mountain. Feast upon the secrets of the spirit. Feast upon the secrets of the spirit, said the Lord. Feast upon the secrets of the spirit. There is a path that no fowl knoweth. The whelps of the lion has not gotten there. Majestic is his presence. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians 2 verse 8. First Thessalonians 2. I'm sorry, not eight. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, I would have come to you, 
It is my desire for you to experience my presence. He said, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that blessing would have come to you. Wherefore, that healing, that breakthrough would have come to you. He said, I desire, but Satan hindered us. Tonight is a prayer meeting. We will pray. Wherefore, I would have brought the breakthrough for the family. Wherefore, I would have opened you up to certain realms of grace and power. He said, but Satan, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that genotype would have changed by now. Wherefore, that act of witchcraft and divination over families and territories would have been addressed. He said, but Satan hindered us. Let me tell you something. The kingdom of God is hidden in laws and mysteries. And all through scriptures, you will find the operation of the kingdom hidden in stories, experiences, parables. They are a revelation of the patterns, the workings of the kingdom. It takes illumination. It's called the spirit of revelation. And then your eyes are open to see beyond the story. And then you begin to see the construction, the build up, the character, and the operation of the kingdom. And when you understand it, you have those keys. Then you will command power in this territory. And this is what we seek to transfer. An understanding of the operation of the kingdom. Week after week, this is our project. To unveil unto you the secrets of the kingdom. Because when you find it, then you will be able to operate in mastery. In the last one or two months, we have been unveiling a lot of things. Opening you up to the spiritual dimension of life. All of the teachings have been a build up upon one and another. To open you up to the spiritual dimension. The Bible says they know not. Neither do they understand. They grope in darkness. Confusion. And as a result the earth is out of course. Have I not said ye are gods. And all of you are children of the most high. He said but you shall die like men, men and fall like one of these princes. And the remedy is an unveiling. This is why we value the presence of the Holy Spirit so much. The body of Christ knows a lot. They know a lot of Bible stories. But insight into the truth to understand the operation of the kingdom is what is deficient. It says, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from out of thy heart. Keep them in the midst of the heart. He said, they are life to those who find them. Health to their flesh. It will take your understanding of spiritual things. It is understanding that will reduce Satan to become nothing in your life. Hallelujah. Wherefore we would have come to you. So there are many things that desire to come into your life. Breakthrough. Blessings. Increase. He said, but what happened? Satan hindered us. Satan hindered us. Hindered the blessing. Hindered the lifting. Hindered your insight, access into the deep things of the spirit, but Satan hindered us. Hallelujah. And tonight we have come to call the devil a liar. We have come to open up the two lead gates 
that you will step into certain things that have a fourth time in giving. Please take note of what is happening tonight. There are healings already happening. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying. This night we will be confronting the gates of darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Tonight we will pursue. We will overtake. And we will recover all. Many people have taught all kinds of junk messages. Look at me. Wickedness is real. Don't let anybody fool you with any sugar-coated message. The Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. Hallelujah. Why do you need the power of the Holy Ghost? Because there are giants on every mountain. And the Bible says how awe-inspiring are your ways. He said, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Psalm 66 verse 3. Wherefore, by now you would have been lifted. By now your family would have risen to a level. You would have stepped into another dimension. But Satan hindered us. Wherefore, you would have been walking in mighty levels of grace by now. Your destiny helpers have desired to come to you. But Satan hindered them. Wherefore, your life partner would have come into your life. You would have been happily married with dignity and honor. But Satan hindered them. Wherefore, that job, that opening. But Satan hindered us. This is Paul the Apostle speaking. I desire to come to you. I know the things I carry. And I know that if I meet you, you will never be the same. So Satan hindered us. Wherefore, you would have been coming to, for Koinonia years ago. But Satan hindered you. Wherefore, your loved ones would have been here tonight. With all your efforts to bring them. But Satan. I need you to know that Satan is determined to frustrate your Christian experience. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Satan is determined. He will use every spiritual arsenal within his control to see that he frustrates your spiritual life. Therefore, it will take understanding of the operations of the kingdom to triumph over him. He said, unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh my God. He said, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed and let not my enemies triumph over me. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Tonight, he's restoring everything. In obedience to Christ. Satan has hindered a lot of people. Listen. We have been explaining these things. Right from the teaching. Give me this mountain. That every time you arrive at that mountain. There are giants. Hear me. There are forces of darkness. Stationed across the earth. To ensure. That men do not rise. Zechariah chapter 1. This is a month of breakthrough. Something must happen in your life. I know that somebody believes this word. There are many who will sit down there and keep being cynical and watch others testify. Said they heard the word like we did, but the word did not profit them because it was not mixed with faith. Zechariah 1 from verse 17 down. cry yet saying thus said the lord of hosts my city's true prosperity shall be spread abroad and the lord shall yet comfort zion the moment he it speaks about breakthrough what happens next verse can you give us from amplified is it possible please amplified then i lifted up my eyes and behold four horns 
immediately he told the prophet this is your prophetic destiny this is what should happen to you he said now lift up your eyes and see what has been hindering you he said i lifted up my eyes and i beheld four horns amplified says symbols of strength next verse and i said unto the angel who talked with me what are these i've not been taught in church that there are horns that can lift people they have deceived me that you just confess and enter your destiny this is strange i've not been taught what are these many of, of you have been deceived that all it takes is just to laugh and you just jump in and enter your destiny all it takes is to just pack five naira and put an envelope and come and drop it or that they pour a little dot of oil let me tell you the truth there is more to the operation of the kingdom than this he said what are these it is strange i've not been taught I've no, i wasn't given this insight that after a promise there is a contention in the spirit to bring its deliverance most people just stop in verse 17 he said now that i've told you your prophetic destiny lift your eyes let's tackle the resistance what is this that you see if it's raining let them come in please come in sit anywhere on the ground on the altar anywhere just find a place and sit down tonight is a serious meeting and we're going to pray listen and he answered me he said these are what the four horns of powers which have scattered judas rob men of their praise rob men of their testimony judah means praise praise is an effect of a testimony the well-doing of the lord please come in come in everybody sit down anywhere come and sit here wherever you can find just sit down there are spaces all around ushers please help them i need everybody's attention are you following me now he said they have scattered what judah israel and jerusalem hallelujah tonight we will pray oh, that devil that is holding your destiny see no matter how mad a man is he does not enter fire by mistake is that true no matter how mad he is he can do stupid things and they say he's a madman but when he sees fire the bible says he maketh his angel spirits and his ministers flames look up every promise in the bible requires contentions in the spirit for you to actualize it he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been released to you there are more seats stand anywhere no devil will stop you this night so let all rise darkness trembles in your home Sing it one more time. Yeah. Let hope, let it rise. Hallelujah. Verse 20. Please follow me tonight. It says, Then the Lord showed me what? Four smiths or workmen one for each enemy of the horn he showed me four carpenters he said now i've shown you the horn there are certain people i am going to send to you he calls them carpenters this is your promise this is your destiny between you and your destiny there are four horns and the job of those horns is to scatter your life scatter your finances scatter your anointing scatter your prayer life he said but i sent four carpenters one for each horn he said to beat it down 21 then said i what are these horns or smith so satan sends his horn see let me tell you something go to verse 19 
He said, these are four horns and four powers. Their job is to wreck your destiny. Are you listening to me? They are, they are patient. These are spirit entities scattered around the face of the earth. And every time they see anything that looks like growth and progress in your family, they are the ones, they watch to see when your sister gets pregnant. Their job is to scatter. He said to scatter Judah. Judah is the place of praise. Israel is the place of promise. 21. Then said I, what are these horns coming to do? He says, and he said, these are the horns or powers that scattered Judah so that what? No man will lift his head. There are forces. Hear me, Koinonia. There are forces of darkness positioned by the powers of darkness. He said, wherefore, I desire to come to you, but Satan hindered us. So that no man will lift up his head. They are scattered around our villages. They are scattered around ministries so that certain ministries cannot lift up their heads. So that certain destinies cannot lift up their heads. That's the job. Every time anyone in your family is about to rise, they contend in your academics, in your finance. The moment you begin to pray, after one week your prayer life dies. The horn. The moment you have faith and say lord i trust you after three days something pushes you down are you following me now you enter a relationship two weeks something just happens and scatters everything who are these he said these are four horns they have been stationed and every time they see you lifting your head their job is to bring you down it's in your bible it says so that no man will lift up his head. Many ministries do not know the powers of darkness that try to tie them down. Are you listening to me? The moment a ministry starts blossoming, the men of God are carried away with money and prosperity and increase and ministrations. They forget that there are four horns. Let the Lord just declare a prophecy over your life and you will see these horns rise. The moment they declared, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased, all hell broke loose. He said, I desire to give you prosperity. I desire to give you increase. But there are four horns. There are four horns. There are many families represented here. What you are seeing in your dreams and visions and what is happening in your life is different. Between that dream and the manifestation are four horns. They are gates. Are you following me tonight? I came to preach my heart because we are going to pray. Four horns. You go, you go and apply for a job. They are ready to respond to you. Three days later, something comes up without any explanation. See, hear me believers. If you don't take charge of your destiny and apply the keys of the kingdom, you may remain forever and you will not lift up your hands. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. There are many ministers who struggle and struggle. They preach, they suffer, they go and do a lot of publicity. People come and get healed and go. They don't, these are four horns. The moment they pay your father's salary. Everybody in the family starts becoming mysteriously sick without explanation until that one night I finish. You marry a man who was loving and caring. Suddenly he becomes a Dracula. Four horns. Tonight, 
we have come under an apostolic and prophetic atmosphere to confront the gates of darkness are you hearing what i'm saying let me tell you satan can bow are you hearing me satan can bow you must get angry in your spirit don't just sit and watching others forget about what is happening and concentrate there's no space sit around find somewhere and sit tonight when it's time to pray i don't want to see you looking at me pack your wig pack your wivon keep it one side we are going to pray this night hallelujah he said but these smiths or workmen have come to what there are men that have been anointed to terrorize this horn are you saying that word he said see he said but these smiths these carpenters have come to terrorize the horn he didn't say it's not just to defeat them to terrorize them there are people satan is afraid of see pastor jakes made a statement look at me let me tell you something brothers and sisters there is this error in the body there are two errors one is the error of saying see everybody i have the same access to god are you hearing me i have the same access to god there is nothing there no man of god is special and this or the one that men of god make themselves semi-gods both are wrong but let me tell you something clearly this night not every human being is a human being the anointing has changed some people the bible says there are many bodies some are terrestrial some are celestial they may look like you the ability to recognize that difference is what will take you out of certain things are you hearing me we are equal in christ but we are not equal in call and office and anointing you must realize this the Bible says there are some people that have been anointed to terrorize them and cause them to be panic stricken. Look at the horns that are terrorizing others. But the Bible says God calls some people and says, You, I just call you, come and become a terrorist. It's an election of grace. It's in your Bible. This is not error. It's not because they pray more, it is an office. an office to terrorize the works of darkness see let me tell you this night whatever power hear me i'm speaking under the unction of the lord whatever power that is responsible for holding any area of your life except god is not the god of heaven it must give up on you this night i said it must give up on you this night i don't care I speak under a prophetic and apostolic unction as one of these privileged carpenters. If I be sent of God, I speak to you. Every horn that is responsible for terrorizing your life, it will bow this night. He said, but I have sent carpenters. They are around, scattered over the earth. The only problem is that we have not trained our spirits to recognize them. Jesus went to certain cities, they saw him until he ascended to heaven. And they said, is this the man that has been among us? See, let me tell you, one of the greatest revelations you have in this life is that some people have been called. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Is called an election of grace. I didn't call myself. See, let me tell you something. When the Lord showed me the vision for ministry, hear me. I was standing in a tower and I saw an endless sea of people very oppressed people messed up by satan it was a whole generation of people and i saw them crying 
And while they came close, I was hearing the sounds of their cry. And they were blaming me in the vision. And I said, what is wrong? And they said, there is no food and no water. Suddenly, it occurred to me that I was holding in my hands the keys to the storehouse that will feed that generation. This is a vision I had. Listen to me, please. Hallelujah. And when that happened, I told them, who is the cause? Who is the reason why you are the way you are? And they said, you are the one. Suddenly, compassion fell on me. And I said, I'm going to come out right now. I, I got to that tower. I was trying to hide from somebody. That was when I looked through the mirror and I saw that thing. It was fear and timidity that made me to run like Gideon to go and hide in the vision. But the people were telling me that we are dying here and you are the one who is holding the keys to the storehouse. They said no food and no water. These two things. Hallelujah. And I was determined that I was going to go out. The moment I opened the door, because I was afraid that I was alone. When I opened the door, there was a giant person that stood. And he said, hold my hands. We will go together. He's called the Holy Spirit. This is the whole idea behind the things we do with the Holy Spirit. People have criticized that we are emphasizing the... See, let me tell you. Every great vision comes under fire and criticism because people do not understand. The Bible says they know not. I'm taking time to explain to you. This call, there are people who have been called as carpenters. You may die in a place without recognizing because you see everybody and you think they are celestial or they are terrestrial. There are some people that certain graces have elected them. Hallelujah. In one other vision, I was in a whole city and I found out that all the hospitals and the clinics were closed. And I was crying because there were people that were sick. I said, what is all this? What is going on here? And I had a voice. He said, go and heal them. That was the end. So when people hear that HIV positive is changing to negative, or when people hear that genotypes are changing, rather than finding out, they keep criticizing and castigating. We don't announce any miracle here without verification. He said, but these smiths or these workmen have been sent to terrorize these homes. That's why their lives are not normal. They are not normal human beings. They don't live like normal human beings. Hallelujah. Many of you do not know the burden of carrying a prophetic agenda for a generation. It will change you. I don't have a social life. I have lost many things that many people have. You do not know what it means to come under the influence of a divine mandate. I see a lot of people jumping and smiling. I'm apostle, I'm prophet. I want to open ministry and I say, oh dear. Day and night you are under fire of all sorts. But he that endures to the end. Hallelujah. He said to cast out the horns or powers of the nations who have lifted their horn against the land of Judah to scatter it. There are horns, brothers and sisters, that are responsible for the way your father behaves, for the way your mother behaves, for the way your loved ones behave. You have tried counseling. You have tried psychology. It didn't work. They are called horns. But the Bible says, my head has thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn and you have anointed me with fresh oil. Hallelujah. Let's look at one more scripture. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9. Shila bakata prato soto balakata. Are you there? 
What did I say? 16, I'm sorry. 16, verse 9. Let's read together. It's projected. One to read. One to read it again. For a great door and effectual is opened up to me. And there are many. A great door is opened. The door of marriage has been opened. The door of healing has been opened. He said, but there are how many? But the Bible says, I have said before you an open door. He said, no man can shut it. And there are carpenters that have been sent to enforce that thing. Do you know what? Let me tell you something. We are not the only carpenters. You are here because you are one of those carpenters too. This is our mission. Our mission is not to become great men of God, but to make you a terrorist in the kingdom of darkness. See, it is not everyone, hear me, that is afraid of Satan. Are you hearing me? It's not everyone that is afraid of death. It's not everyone that is afraid of sickness. Some people have seen how cheap Satan is. And he's aware. Hallelujah. That knowledge comes to an understanding of the operation of the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah. There are many people who do not know. Listen, I want to tell you something. If you do not know the laws that govern the kingdom, it can be costly. Are you hearing me? Longevity is not a mistake. Longevity is not a product of going to church. There are kingdom principles that bring forth longevity. Divine health is not a mistake. Divine health is not a product of the anointing. Divine health is from the body of Jesus. Are you hearing me? Anointing comes to get away the demon spirits that are responsible for bringing that. He said by his stripes. He didn't say by the oil. We have misapplied a lot of spiritual laws. Authority against witches and wizards is not the issue of uh uh. There are kingdom principles, and this is what we seek to share. Greatness does not happen by magic. Many of you are asking, why is the devil disturbing me? Are you still asking that question? When Satan followed Jesus to the wilderness, was patient for one month and ten days until Jesus finished fasting. What makes you think that the devil will just look at you and say, oh, I understand you are anointed. But it takes the power of the Holy Spirit to look at the devil eyeball to eyeball and say I am one of those carpenters <laughs> hallelujah there are some of you who don't sleep when you close your eyes you are oppressed I was one of those people the Bible says a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field tonight we have come to call the devil a liar I've come to speak to you that there is an authority. There are seven things that redemption brings unto men. All of them must be at work in your life. The Bible says, worthy is the lamb to receive blessings, riches, honor. These are all the things he has received and he has given you. Seven. And it must be at work in your life. Hallelujah. Who are these horns? Who are these horns that have stood against little children? Who are these horns? You are aware of the testimony of the man who came here and who was healed, I think during one of the services or thereabout. He was sleeping in the night. Somebody appeared to him in a dream. Remember the story? With big syringe, injected this man with HIV virus and he woke up physically with the virus. That devil is a liar. Come on now. Years ago, I used to pray for barren people and they were not healed. 
they didn't give birth it disturbed me and i went back i said lord what what is it then the lord told me barrenness is not sickness it's an oppression it doesn't require healing there is a spirit the spirits come and they create what we call fibroid fibroid is the baby of these spirits in the womb of people that's why women have miscarriages in the night why don't they have miscarriages in the daytime But you are carpenters. See, I look forward to testimonies. Where will he, somebody will say, Ah, I heal the sick and I raise the dead. Not Pastor Jakes did this. Ah, uh ah. -uh. You be the carpenters. You are not falling down for nothing. You are not falling down to prove we are anointed. God is in a serious business of working on you. Say, I'm one of the carpenters. Say it, I'm one of the carpenters. Yes financial carpenters apostolic carpenters one of my life's goal is to break the back of poverty in the church is one of it i hate the effect of poverty on many families more ladies have entered prostitution they didn't come to meet you. How much do you have? Many people have been messed up. There are some of you now. You want to marry. Or you cannot get married. Because of the finance. And some of you are hoping that one day. I will get a job of 10,000 and then I will get married. Calculate it. by your, Do you to judge. But when those that God has sent to bless you, they can come in one day. He said, your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Do you believe this? You're going to get angry this night. This night we're going to pray. I'm just sharing with you scriptures. The Bible says Daniel in chapter 10. Remember? How that Daniel was praying and fasting. Wanting to get an understanding. And the Bible says the moment is there from the very first day. Daniel 10. You start reading from verse 5 down to 11 verse 1. When he was coming, the Bible says the prince of Persia. Withstood the angel 20 and 1 day. The prince of Persia withstood him. Hallelujah. The prince of Persia withstood him. Until he kept praying. The moment that embargo was lifted, the angel said, Now I am come to give thee understanding. One of the chief princes came to help. Tonight there is divine backing of the angelic. As we pray, there will be things happening in the realm of the spirit. Yokes of darkness that will be broken. This is pre-miracle service. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. That's what God will do tonight. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Sing it one more time. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain.
I've shared it here. Before we start koinonia, listen, I realize that there is a secret to increase and growth. And I knew that there were powers over territory that kept ministries down. I've shared this again. From the roundabout of Chiki Republic, I started walking there till aviation, commanding the forces to bow commanding principalities and power and then the city opens up before i go for administration in any city i speak to the principalities they know my voice see let me teach you something there are principalities there are powers there are rulers there are spiritual wickedness in heavenly places these are different strata of of darkness but the Bible says you have been exalted above thrones, dominions, and every name that is named. Both in this realm, this world, and in the world to come. So you command them to bow. Hallelujah. As our prayer department begins to pray, they speak over the week. And an open heavens. And you are there in your house. You don't even know what carries you from your house. You are still complaining and insulting us, yet you are coming. Because the heavens are open. There's an army rising up. You are that prophetic army. There's an army rising up. I tell you, you are that army. There's an army rising up. Tonight, every one of you is going to represent not just yourself, but even your families. Hear me? Your families have been praying for a savior. Say, we can't die like this. And God said, come for koinonia. You, you, let God find a carpenter. Hallelujah. I just came, today I just came, I've been at home. I needed to go and visit the house. As soon as I stepped in, in the night, that night as I slept, in a dream, the Lord showed me everything that was wrong. And I got up the next day while they were sleeping. Hallelujah. I got anointing oil, poured it inside water, and carried the bucket. I took my bare foot and I was walking around. And I was commanding the forces in that territory to bow. I said, an ambassador is in town this is what we are teaching you hallelujah an ambassador is in town i went and look at my mother's poultry i said i command increase see if you know the office that you stand in in christ you will not take it for granted the bible says as i hear you say before my ears so will i do Realize you are not ordinary. You are not the one looking for help. And if there is any need for help, we will grant you the help here by the grace of God and empower you to go back. When you see things that are not working, rejoice because you are here. You carry the backing of heaven. Your job is to legislate. Your job is to legislate. The Bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An ambassador. You must realize this. So that you don't just stand at home. Or in your offices. Everything that is going wrong. Start blaming yourself. And say now. Everybody is lamenting. If there is nobody. I am an ambassador. Say it. I am an ambassador. An ambassador, this is why God is bringing you, and you are going to pray as you pray first for yourself, and then through the fire of the Holy Ghost, you will dislodge powers over your life, and then you will see testimonies rolling in. 
suddenly you will find out that certain insights you have been struggling to get suddenly there is an open heaven your ministry or your fellowship takes another level as if satan does not exist hallelujah nobody ever came to jesus christ hear me after he went 40 days and 40 nights satan came to withstand him because Jesus wanted to come to the people like Paul. But Satan withstood him. When he defeated Satan, suddenly, on the mountain, people started coming. Along the water side, people said, what happened? Powers were dislodged. This night, hear me. You are not praying for healing. You are confronting the gates of darkness. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Rise up on your feet. Listen. 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 I want you to know that heaven is backing you tonight. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say heaven is backing me. Say it, heaven is backing me. Because we are going to pray now. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, I tell you there will be an eruption of testimonies. After this night's meeting, you will know that the things that have been happening around your life and your family, they are not as ordinary as they look. You are the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. number one hallelujah you're going to pray and say in the name of jesus i confront gates that are stopping the finances the finances grace that are making your family members not to be titers grace that are making them not to be givers lift your voice Financial days. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please hold on. This prayer must be serious this night. Please let's have two of our school of ministry students, two prayer band. Benga, come. Kenny, come. Go on one of the mic. Our school of ministry students, where are you? Are you not? Tolu, come. Quickly, two, three. Well, you, it's okay. You push, go and share the mic. Stand behind. When I say pray, if you are not praying, you will go back to your seat. You are not out for jamboree. We are going to pray. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Four horns. There are four prayer points we have. The Bible says they were sent to one. This finance thing, you are going to pray it. Lift your voice and pray. Don't stop. 
that will enter into a man's life and, and spoil the good except he first find the strong man. He said, and I will give you the keys of it. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of us will be surprised what will happen this night. Prayer point number two. You are going to declare and say, Satan, the Bible says, through the greatness of thy power, right now, I command those forces bow. Lift your voice and pray. Bow. Bow. Principalities bow. Sewers bow. Sewers bow. Sewers bow. Let's get the power. 
says when you catch a thief listen please when a thief steals your property and you catch that thief he won't bring back what he stole he said he will restore sevenfold this is what the bible says sevenfold you're going to pray see listen the lord is showing me in i'm in a vision right now he's and the lord is showing me angels holding baskets hear me but the baskets are empty. Listen, Say good. please follow me. <laughs> there is a prophetic atmosphere here. There are empty baskets. And I'm wondering, and the Lord is ministering to me. He's saying this basket will be full of the blessings that are due God's people. See, si hear me. Si he said, and I will restore. Si hear me. Canker worms can si eat years of si people's life. So you are growing older but nothing is happening but this night hey i don't know about you but i came to koinonia i'm placing a demand everything hey! you know satan took i'd like you to call it back and say restore Let's go. 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 Let's go.
On the third point, Restore. the Lord said, Restore. We should call back opportunities Restore. that were either missed or wasted. Restore. Are you hearing me? There are some of you, some circles came into your life, Restore. either by carelessness, it passed. Let me tell you, Restore. it's only in this realm that you count time, in the realm of the spirit, you can call time back. Hear me. I don't care what opportunity you missed. Restore. Whether it was an opportunity for marriage, Restore. for job, Restore. right now, I want you to call back Restore. that opportunity. It will come back. Yes. Yes. Satan is until you engage in prayer. Satan will keep opening his eyes until you pray. When you pray, the devil will shrink and you will see how powerless he is. Hallelujah. Now, one last prayer point. We'll add one more. You are going to confront the gates over your family. See, don't let anybody fool you that there are no gates. Let me tell you something. Some of you are the last card that God has to use over your family. If you don't do anything about it, don't think God brought you here just to waste your time. Listen. See me. Listen, listen. If you truly love your family members, 
Effectual prayer is not just by shouting. It is the seriousness. Put your heart in this prayer. Many of you, as you pray, you will begin to see vision. See, hear me. Listen. Let me tell you something. Listen. Listen. I, see, we don't kill people in this place. But let me tell you, God is a God of mercy, but he's a God of judgment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are certain horns. We don't care who these horns are. Unfortunately, sometimes, as this power is taken, some human beings become victims. We don't kill people. But whatever it will take for the glory of your family to rise, <laughs> you will pray it is not. Lift your voice. <laughs> I will not let you go. And the Bible says, when he touched his thigh, he said, What is your name? He said, Jacob, which means a cheat and a supplanter. He said, You are called Israel, for as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. And the Bible says, he says, And the sun rose, and he called that place Peniel. 
Hallelujah. I've told you as much, hear me. I've told you as much as possible. Please invite your loved ones for the miracle service. You don't hear me talk like this. We are only responding to the things that the Holy Spirit, if they refuse, no problem. For God will do a work in this place. Hallelujah. We'll take one more prayer point. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for this ministry. Hear me? I'm like a pregnant woman right now. Because I know when we step into seasons. God has his way. In the last three to four months. That's why you find out that you don't find me outside. I have been praying and preparing. Birthing new and mighty things in the spirit. We are stepping into a dimension. See for when you are faithful with what God gives you. He said he measured a thousand cubits. And it was to the ankle. And when he saw that you were faithful, he measured a thousand cubits. Many of you are already sensing that there are newer levels of grace. You can see that the unction upon the house is not what it used to be. This is ushering season. For when God wants to bless you, he will first increase the anointing, then enlarge your sphere of influence. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all the dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made. Hallelujah. If you love this ministry, I'd like you in the next few minutes to pray your life out. Listen. You are going to pray for the ministers. See the way ministers are falling around like leaves. Immorality. All kinds of things. I've said it. Any man can fall from any height. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And if you love us, pray for us. Pray for us. We are going to pray for this ministry. We are going to say, Lord, let a dimension of grace. Hear me. Hear the prayer point. And fire spread from this place and around this nation god is already doing great things through our teachings i cannot describe to you what is happening around the media can tell you best the mighty and terrible things that god is doing some of you have gone back and you have become mighty agents of change even you you are surprised at yourself this is what we are training you to become and hear me when you are praying for the ministry you are praying for yourself the ministry is not Joshua Selman. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You're going to say, Lord, together, as a family, nobody will rise and leave another. Are you hearing me? There will not be a few men of God rising, growing in grace. Hear me? There are certain things God has given us as a ministry. Number one is the presence of God. Number two is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The love of God. God has given us influence. God has given us prosperity. We are going to pray that the strongholds that attempt to raise their heads, listen, there will never come a time where we will not have testimonies here. The vision must speak. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to command and say every force that will want to stop the vision from speaking, it will speak in your own life. It will speak if truly God has called us, something should come upon your life that you will become epistles of the vision. Lift your voice and pray for ear. <laughs> Evangelical, 
of the ministry our school of ministry God is raising mighty mighty men of power in all spheres not just ministry you are going to pray for our students you are going to pray for the missions hallelujah you are going to pray for koinonia you are going to pray for all of the things that we are doing you are going to say Lord not one sick body will come and not be healed not one oppressed person you are going to pray for grace to stand criticism grace to stand persecution grace to remain faithful grace to remain faithful grace to remain humble I want to do something prophetic this night. Hallelujah. One of the things God has given us is the spirit of dominion. You know what dominion is? Dominion means to legislate the counsel of God in any sphere, Satan notwithstanding. And among the many things that will happen to you tonight, I'm going to pray for you. That everything we stand for, your life must represent it. See, if you do not represent what we stand for, we are fake. It means we are lying. It means we are faking power somewhere. If we are healing the sick, you should heal the sick. You must not be in ministry. If we are humble and you are arrogant, there is something wrong with the transference of spirits. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. I want you to believe, my brothers. Believe. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. 
Please be careful with the fans. Father, you didn't send us to waste people's time. You didn't send us to be noisemakers. My God, I am praying this night. Every power, every force against any area of your life this night if I be sent as a servant of God if God has ordained us as one of these carpenters I pray right now those powers bow 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 every power hindering your marriage in this place hear me or the marriage of your loved ones this night I release you in the name of Jesus everything stopping your breakthrough breakthrough as surely as the God of heaven lives between this night and next Friday, I command unbelievable breakthrough. Receive it. Receive it. I invoke it from the heavens with the backing of Elohim. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. Every close heaven in this place, whether it's as a result of non tithing or mistakes or whatever, I don't care what is responsible. Every heaven that is closed in this place, right now, this night, I pray, let the heavens be open over you. Let the heavens be open over you. Let the heavens be opened over you. Amen. Hallelujah. This month, there are three things I'm speaking into your life now. Listen. Number one is authentic unction. Listen. Number two is favor that you cannot imagine. Listen. Number three is honor. Receive these three four blessings. Receive it. Receive power. Power to heal the sick. Power to cast out devils. Hear me. In the name that is above all names. Whatever bows to us here, let it bow to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever answers to us, let it answer to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for your family. Super. Hear me, enough is enough this Super. night. Lift your hands. Super. Super. Your families will never believe you or the God you serve until there is an evidence. I pray, my God, that evidence of breakthrough that will compel families to know that you are at work. Let there be a release now. Let there be a release now. Let the angel of the Lord go across every state, every city. I instruct it. Every city. Saria, Abuja, Lagos, Calabar, Kodiste, Jos, angels, in the name of Jesus, go and confirm breakthroughs. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Give testimonies. 
testimonies testimonies so that they will know that your God is alive hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is instructing me to do something dangerous please take off your shoes and stand on your feet this is not diabolic please don't go and start criticizing us and talking nonsense Listen, something will come upon your life this night. Please listen. Listen. I don't do stupid things just because people are doing I don't have money. The Bible says, hear me. It says, anywhere the sole of your feet treads upon, it has been given to you. I want to pray, hear me. Many of you do not know the mystery of what is happening, but I want you to believe. You will be amazed. Because I see an angel of the Lord, pure red from head to toe. Never seen, listen, I've never seen this angel of the Lord. And this is what he was telling me. That there is an impartation and a transference. Hear me. The influence we enjoy as a ministry is not a mistake. Are you hearing me? God has honored us and taken us to where we cannot merit. I want it to come upon your life this night. Lift your hands. Many of you will receive mighty impartations. Hear me. You will see things answering. See, your Christianity will have results. Father, I stand as your servant tonight under the instruction that you have given me my god there is a spirit upon this ministry an operation of the holy ghost the operation of dominion and inexplainable influence at the count of three my god let every feet upon this ground receive that anointing and demonstrate it practically Thank you, Father. One, two, three. Receive it. Take 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 it. Receive it. The spirit of communion. The action of kingdom influence. Let the crowd open up for you. Let the crowd open up for you. Let the earth answer to you. Hallelujah. One more prayer. God has given us inexplainable kingdom wealth and prosperity. Please lift your hands. You need it. I honestly want to pray from my heart that your financial heavens will be open in a way and I'm going to pray my God and my King I pray in the name that is above all names you have called and you have sent me Lord if I be your servant at the count of three let an unction of inexplainable wealth let it come upon your people at the count of three 
One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. A mantle of prosperity. A mantle of wealth. A mantle of finance. Do, do mighty things for the kingdom. To feed the hungry. To clothe the poor. To wipe the tears from your family. Let this anointing bring you ideas. Let it bring you opportunities. Receive the Holy Ghost. The same way you receive a visitor. Question, how do you receive a visitor in your house? When a visitor comes, you put a chair. You say you are welcome. Let me bring food for you. What do you want? That's how to receive. You don't stand at the door and say, Mr. Man, what did you come to look for? That's how many of us are receiving the Holy Ghost. You are praying in tongues, but you truly have not received his ministry. Tonight, will you receive that ministry? Will you receive the same way you receive a visitor? The Bible says, be careful. Entertain men well. For in need, some of you have entertained strangers. That's why you see us honor his presence so much. Because Jesus left him. Without the Holy Spirit, while I was praying, I said, Holy Spirit, we're in partnership with you. I will do the talking. I will do all the things. My own part of the deal. I will do it well and i know for sure that's what gives us confidence to announce that people will be healed that's what gives us confidence there is an audacity there is always a side to your life you cannot explain that's the side where the holy ghost steps in if you can explain everything about your life you are walking alone there should be a supernatural dimension i've explained to you the part of the meeting that can be explained the other part now the Holy Ghost does not just talk he explains it with the results oh that's why I love him doesn't have room for long stories tonight God is giving someone another opportunity to raise a cry of dissatisfaction and say Lord I'm tired the worship team sang it beautifully they said i'm tired of the status quo tonight there are many of us here who may be wondering but what is wrong with my life i've not done anything wrong what you need is an appointment by prophecy the bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of gladness for the spirit of heaviness it says that they may be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified we're going to pray the lord has showed me of his presence in a mighty way to heal especially for the sick you must get angry this night and say lord i'm not going back with that situation see don't get too used to it the same way you receive the Holy Spirit, reject certain things. Hallelujah. Let me show you one scripture. Back to our text, John 9. Let me tell you what can happen to you when you don't open up your heart to receive. John chapter 9. While I was reading today, I had to stop and say, Goodness. So this thing did not start now. Two things can happen to you. If you do not position yourself to receive number one 9 verse 16 listen to what happened we have been accusing very innocent people around our society because we are not open to receive John 9 verse 16 are you ready read therefore said some of the Pharisees okay this man is this is Jesus they are talking about are you getting my point now they saw somebody receiving 
a fantastic miracle they saw this man getting blessed and now they were frustrated because this thing was not just working what kind of power is it there are probably some of you here who have heard of the things that god is doing and probably you just came to watch and see let me verify for myself look at it it didn't just start today satan always wants to discredit people who are doing the things that god has asked them to do he said this man is not of god because he keepeth not the sabbath day what kind of silly excuse is that look at the excuse they were bringing those people lose their cattle they lose their cattle be careful lest you allow the devil cheat you by putting a very doubtful heart and you keep looking and say are miracles really real do people really get healed is it true it's a big shame that when people are healed we associate it most of the time to witchcraft power so we agree that witches and wizards can heal and then we are saying the lord of glory cannot heal verse 18 oh, oh, oh. but the jews did not do what the jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind that's another thing so you either say the man of god is not a genuine man of god or the miracle that happened is not genuine that's what they said they said we don't believe that the man has been born blind and received his sight until they called his parents so you can watch people ss genotype in your presence chain and you said there's no way i'm studying medicine or i'm a doctor this thing cannot happen or you watch somebody holding a crutch get healed or somebody blind or deaf or someone oppressed liberated and you say just like that just like that what are you doing are you seeing two things can happen when your heart is not open to receive you can sit down and keep doubting this man of god is he using something if it's easy to get the something get it how many of you remember one gentleman called Sadiq Ibrahim? I never knew it was so difficult to get power from the kingdom of darkness until that guy came. He came to give... Some of you were around that miracle service. This guy was a terrorist. He was a terrorist. He was part of the people that trained those who fought for post-election violence. And he came, was dying of HIV, right? Dying of tuberculosis. He had slept in the grave three days. He said he could enter a church and look at a man of God and blow this whatever magic portion and the man of God would just get confused on the stage. So he came for koinonia just like this. And he was sitting outside. Hallelujah. As soon as I came up on stage, when he saw people falling, he said there's power in this place. Whether there's witchcraft power or God's power, there is power in this place. Because he knows what it means the kind he went to sleep in the grave for three days murdered little children and used their blood for sacrifice so that guns will not enter his body just for that little thing see the sacrifice you think it's easy to get power from satan get it hallelujah that guy was there he's on video as soon as i stepped on stage he said as soon as i came on stage all he saw was light and fire and that was the end of it he didn't even know when he collapsed then i called him by word of knowledge and i said he should come he's on video go and watch it right there he was healed of hiv he was healed of tuberculosis the results were there i mean some of you we then we used to meet also there he testified he gave his testimony he was verified it shocked him that was when he made up his mind they were still looking for him to kill him brothers and sisters the power of god exists miracles still happen i know that many of you believe but you have not received that reality that your situation can change tonight i believe god for somebody let's trust god together let's trust god together let's trust god together 
and say lord it can change it can change that genotype can change they refuse to allow you marry because you are ss that genotype can change that genotype can change you must not understand how everything can happen the bible says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child not the way of the wind that's how you do not know the work of god there are certain dimensions that are inexplainable hallelujah selena is here where is selena wave your hand i think it was her auntie that that one time we prayed for she had triplets right or something the children are still alive triplets one two three three children i just felt a need to clear this air because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirits and you have problems that are killing you but rather than opening your heart you are there just wondering is god really the one doing this can somebody just fall down like that without being touched is it really true is it real it's not your fault it's the way some of us were raised you don't have to be angry listen listen when you ever hear a man criticizing a man of god don't blame the person never insult the person they are only talking that while we were insulting jesus christ on the cross what did he do he said father forgive them forgive them never find yourself trying to defend yourself no no it's not part of your ministry the psalmist said in psalm 3 thou O lord art a shield for me he says you are my glory and the lifter up of my head i always tell people gamaliel spoke beautifully he said if it is of god no man can stop it if it is not of god it will fail there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you who is there like you there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you i lead the earth to worship you hallelujah lord jesus change our situations tonight there are many of us as you're sitting looking at me right now the problem that you have is only god that can help you because the load is too much are you getting me there are some of you it's like i see you in the hospital your situation right now is a matter of life and death your own is just it's not just admission maybe there is a terminal disease I remember a particular lady i was talking to i think she might be somewhere here a herbalist predicted her death today today this 25th the herbalist predicted that is today that she would die so when i got to hear about it i said interesting come and die here hallelujah just come and die here There is a rod of a higher priesthood there is a rod of a higher priesthood is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am that's what god is asking somebody tonight is there anything too hard for me to do I am that I am Is there anything To what for me to do I am that I am Prophesy. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Rise up.
rise up on your feet and begin to prophesy i believe you oh i believe i believe i believe i believe i believe i believe everywhere inside and outside connect this is the moment of faith i'm about to step back and let this most holy spirit step into your life is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am is there anything too hard for me to do for him to do I am that I am is there anything too hard for him to do I am that I am lift your hands everybody and let us worship you Emmanuel, 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 Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel, your name is God. Voices. Emmanuel. Come on, call his name. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible? With God. Involve God and it becomes possible that sickness will never go but with god that sickness suddenly leaves that situation will never change but with god that's why we're singing that song emmanuel emmanuel ah, yeah. emmanuel 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 His name is called 
Your name is called Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people very mightily by the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Hallelujah. Those of you in this row, just lift your hands. I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here. I see the angels of the Lord moving. At the count of three, there will be such a move of the Spirit in this row. Let me have the people outside. Thank you, Jesus. One, two, three. Let the power of God move right now. Right now. Is the fire of the Holy Ghost. Emmanuel. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called. Bring her. No devil will stop her. Your name is called.
presence of God no demon no devil no altar I don't care what altar of darkness my altar is calling you oh God my altar is calling you oh God my secret place is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. Take my prayer. hallelujah please lift your hands I see the angels of the Lord moving now lift your hands we're about to cause devils and wicked spirits please follow me instrumentalist we are going to cause every power the Bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father that tree must give way and I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve that at the count of three any power that is not of God inside and outside at the count of three we challenge those devils by the fire of the Holy Ghost as you shout three the power of God will rush inside and outside and there will be massive deliverances right now are you ready now? one Two, three, shout Jesus. Shake up a pack of pressure. I cause powers. Every wicked power, every demon, every activity of darkness. I cause you now. 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 Every act of witchcraft. Shake it by the fire of the Holy Ghost you come under the judgment of God inside and outside right now let the power of God bring deliverance for upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession hallelujah those outside just those outside goodness i see a number of angels you're going to shout jesus after the count of three outside means everywhere that is not in and there will be massive deliverance thank you jesus are you ready now those outside i see the power of god like files of fire one two at the count of three Shout Jesus three. We dethrone altars. We dethrone yokes of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed is he 
who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Those outside be sensitive. There is so much power. I don't know what it is, but the, the power of God is so strong outside. In the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Name of our God. Bring the lady. Most high. Most high. You're the Lord. Most high. Leave this girl in peace now. Go now. Let her go. Don't waste our time. Let her go now. Bring this lady, please. I set you free. Now. Out of her now, that devil of darkness. Blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Hallelujah. Please help her, ladies. It's not easy, I know. Just find it's time for her deliverance. Force her, she will come now quickly. I call you, Lord. Most high. don't touch her, she will come by herself. Most Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. Thank you Jesus. I bring you liberty. Be free now. In Jesus name. name of Jesus it's over let her go now the blood of Jesus the name of Jesus Christ thank you you died for her let her go I come with the rod of a higher priesthood let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you father I give you all the praise she's delivered completely in the name of Jesus Christ thank you I anoint you guys. Let the anointing of the Spirit flow through you as you minister to her. In the name of Jesus. She will go. Come, lay hands on this lady. Out of her now, thou devil of darkness. I cost you. I see you in the Spirit. Out! Out! Let her go free. Her time of deliverance is now. I speak to you, wicked spirit. Let her go now. In 
Jesus died. Listen, let me tell you. There is no power. Listen. There is no power that will resist the power of God tonight. The Bible says, let every soul be subject to the higher powers. Have you read that in your Bible? Let every soul be subject. When it sees powers that are higher than it, it should be subject. Let every soul. Hallelujah. Esther. 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 There is an Esther that is not feeling fine. You're sick. Not just, I know there are many Esthers. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what is wrong with that Esther, but you need a miracle, a healing miracle. Esther, please let's save time. There is a lot we have to do tonight. Esther. Who is Deborah? Deborah. Deborah, you are outside. That Deborah is wearing red. You are wearing red. Red with black spots. It's a shirt, red with black spots. Deborah, come. Your name is Deborah. I'm hearing the name Queen. Queen is, I think that's supposed to be a name. Queen. Who is Queen? Queen. Queen. You are Esther. Come, come and see. While you hold them, look, guys speak to them and let them you will waste your time with demon spirits have a way of wasting people's time don't you will save yourself a lot of energy it makes no difference who is speaking queen who is queen? you are queen i need to pray for you you have a blood condition victoria 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 Victoria, Victoria, I'm hearing the name Gabriel, Gabriel, who is Gabriel, Gabriel, please just save time when I mention your case, Gabriel, Gabriel is outside, outside. The Lord is ministering to me. Outside. Gabriel, you are, is it outside? Yes. Gabriel is outside. You are Gabriel. You are outside. Hallelujah. Come, my dear. What is wrong with you? I need to pray for you. Because the Lord is ministering to me. I saw this lady. And I saw something that looks like a lizard. And is sucking her blood physically. Look, come, come up. Look at this girl. Look at her. You will know that this girl doesn't look healthy. You don't even know what. And the Lord just opened my eyes. And I saw something like a lizard just leads to her heart region and is just sucking her blood this is how somebody just gets up and just dies what happens to you your chest region that devil is a liar you'll be free hallelujah there's no time to minister to your individual needs are you following me now if God gives me a word for you, I'll just pray. Otherwise, ah, okay. come, 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 come. You must be set free now. Hold my hands. Out! Come out of her now. Out! Now! Blessed is he who comes. I set you free from this captivity. Be free now. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you who is having serious abdominal pain you're having pain just your stomach region here very seriously one of you here because i'm feeling that same pain so i know you 
pray for you. But, but that's, that's not really the major thing wrong with you. What's wrong with you? You'll be healed now. Thank you, Jesus. I bring you the power that is in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands on your stomach. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for all of these people. As I lay hands on you, it doesn't matter what the situation is. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ, walk into the blessings and the promises of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be set free. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Um, the Lord is showing me about three people. There's a severe skin infection that is you have done all you it's a very serious thing in fact it's even embarrassing it's even embarrassing there are three people this is one there's, there's there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please i'm seeing three people it's time for god to set you free don't worry if there are still more people you can connect i'm just telling you the one that god is showing me I don't care what it is we sang that god will set you free please don't come out here to try god it will leave i don't care what it is hallelujah thank you jesus please those with peptic ulcers just get ready all kinds of ulcers we're going to pray for you now please make sure it's, it's only skin infection only skin infection hold my hands madam i set you free in the name of jesus be free now free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus as i pray for you just go back to your seat oh, the power of god is strong on my hands be free now in the name of jesus i cause that spirit be free now in the name of jesus let him go i set you free be free now by the power of the holy spirit i cause skin infection in the name that is above all names hold my hands look at me Look at me. I'm seeing you tied. Not only are you, I pray that God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Let her go free right now in the name of Jesus. You're suffering from any kind of ulcer, any kind of ulcer. We're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now. There is a lot to be done. So please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. Visit your people, oh God. These are the ones that you died for. Look how many people are inflicted by ulcers. I'll pray for you very quickly. Please, I want you to believe as I lay my hands on, on you. The power of God will come upon you and you'll be free. Just begin to breathe in. Some of you will feel because the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing it. You will feel something leave you. Just come out of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free now. Out! Come out of her! Now, in the name of Jesus, out, out of her. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free right now. Out, out. Please, as I pray for you, check yourself. He's able. Out. Come out. I will pray for you and I will talk to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the 
in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free be free now in the name of Jesus Christ be free in the name of Jesus Christ because he will give up on you he's able bring the lady shout in there hey, hey, hey. say he's able let her go in the name of Jesus I set you free by the power of the highest say God he's able, able. God is able God. Command that spirit of infirmity, leave her right now, never to return. Be free now, in Jesus' name. Complete freedom. showing me someone you came here I'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed it's like a terminal disease that's one of the major reasons why you came here the Lord is showing me is a woman I think your mother someone's mother lying down on the bed who is that person I'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation please with that let's save time we have to really really be fast there's a lot to do who is that person please if you are the one just find your way quickly so I can pray with you Who went to Shika and came back? Shika and came back. Because this person I'm seeing, they took the person to Shika and brought the person back. You? My mother has one being in Shika. She went to Shika. What are you coming out for? Why is the man insisting that is the one? What is it? You came from Shika. You are coming from Shika. What's wrong with you? This one is a woman who is not you, but anyway, what's his situation? In fact, it's a... No, no, no. What, what? Just straight to the point. What happened? My body is very hot, and um, the head is turning me like move. I want to fall. This is the spirit of death now. You would have died before today. Hold my hands. I want to pray with you. You'll be free now. Thank you, Jesus. I set you free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What couldn't you do before? Ogasa, what couldn't you do before? What couldn't you do before? What, what is it that you could not do before? Okay, come, climb. Let's see if you feel weak again. I'll pray for you. Just, just walk. Let me see. Try to jump. Any weakness? Don't worry now. If you want to jump, you'll fall. Shabia, I prayed for you. Fall and die here. Jump. <laughs> Any weakness? Any weakness in your body? Try it again. Try it again. Look at, this is somebody that came. He said he went to Shika. 
Huh? Are you sure? Don't pretend though. Are you feeling fine? You are completely fine. You are here because I saw the spirit of death. Your own is not just sickness. Lord, it is perfected in the name of Jesus. Please take on your shoes. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody with a condition. Is this my left or right leg? This is left. My left leg. I don't know if it's a if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there. Please, who is that person? The Lord wants to heal you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You're the one? Oh, you can see it. You can even see it. What's the problem? I actually played football. You're a footballer? I had a fracture for eight months. You have a fracture. Now, on the leg, there is a fracture. Is it true? Please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here. Look at me. Watch yourself get healed now. Come. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hiya. The Holy Spirit. Young Gicho wrote a book. He said, The Holy Spirit, my senior partner. Watch what happens to this guy now. My brother, look at me. You are an adult, so you will not tell lies. Right? Watch. I don't want you to miss your miracle. Where is the fracture? Exactly. All right. Watch what happens to you now. Lay your own hands there. The hands you'll be using every day. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You sense what is happening to you right now. Are you seeing this? Look at what is happening to him. You see the power of God? You see the power of God on him? He's laying hands on himself oh, and he cannot even stand again. That's the end of it. Stand up. Stand up. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. Test yourself. Look at this. Look at See the guy is even rejoicing. <laughs> this is somebody with a fracture, fracture on his leg. Come on, give Jesus praise for Anonia. See, there's no, there's no pain. Try doing like this. Do like this. That's how you know whether there was pain or not. Look at, look at, look at what you did. Come on, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. Never return. Your leg. Come, 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 come. Don't worry. What's the situation? Yeah, pain. pain there. Let me see. Just, just the. No, no, no. You don't need to lift your. Just that point. The joint there. How long? Since two weeks now. Two weeks. What happened? Just like that, you woke up, and the pain refused to go. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Which one do you want? You want to lay hands on yourself, or should just pray? <laughs> huh? All right, but seriously, let's pray. Hold my hands. Heal her, Lord. Set her free right now. The power of God is coming upon you, that leg. In the name of Jesus Christ. No pain. See, that's the power of God coming upon your leg. Check yourself. Check. Honestly. Check yourself. Look at The power of God is moving strongly. Check. Check. Do you feel any pain? You feel any She's even surprised. No pain is. Give Jesus praise. That devil has gone never to return again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Goodness. The Lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now. Someone you have a hole. You used to have a hole in your teeth. Check it now. You will not see that hole there. Please check it and come out. This is a miracle that has just happened now. Please, I'm going to start praying in mass for people. But you will be very surprised. When, when that happens to you, just come out quickly. The Lord, show, once God shows me something, he has done it. Please check yourself. Check yourself. We are not faking this thing here. Make sure you check yourself. You will be very surprised to find out that there used to be a hole. And that hole is closed. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Your mother, your mother, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be healing for your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of Jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please make sure you only come out for the cases I call why is he out eh? okay let me pray for you 
Father, for the mother, we agree right now. Let there be freedom in the name of Jesus. Look at this. Look at the miracle. Your teeth is closed now. Come, come. Please, we need a witness. We need a witness. Is it true? Don't tell lies here. You are in the presence of God. Where is it? Sorry, can you open your mouth for me to see? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope that's not. Let me see. You used to have a hole. Please come whether come and check. No. Let's have any independent person so that you don't say we are acting this thing now. Come. Come and check. Check if there is any hole. Are you are you seeing that? There's no. It was really paining me when I it was paining you when you came here. The hole has been there. Who knows about it? Only your sister knows about it. And, it's, and you've been healed. Any pain now? Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please stand up, everybody. I want to pray for eye conditions now. Let's just flow the way God is. is, is nice. Please, if you have any problem with your eye, just lay your hands. There will be healing miracles right now. There will be healing miracles right now with the eyes. Immediately, I pray for you. Some of you, the power of God will touch your eyes. Just check yourself. And when you find out that there is a miracle, I want to take a few testimonies there. Please lift, your, lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes. Jesus will give you the praise. Hallelujah. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke every kind of eye problem. In the name of Jesus, I cause cataract. In the name of Jesus, glaucoma. I cost you now in the name of Jesus. Short-sightedness, long-sightedness. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command to be healed. And every spirit of blindness, every spirit of infirmity, every kind of blindness, whether in one eye, whether in both eyes, I rebuke you right now. I command be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of jesus now check yourself please check yourself check yourself god is doing great miracles check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while they are doing that the lord is showing me people with heart conditions heart conditions you have a heart condition whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition please can i have those people heart condition you've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition you have a heart problem who and is preparing to go to india for is preparing to go to india for surgery what of you yes sir what of you 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 have a heart problem since when did you know about it february the doctors told you what did they say is wrong palpitation palpitation oh. doctor doctor where is that doctor in ushers you are the one self oh yeah Augusta, what does that mean doctor tell us huh say she has palpitations abnormal beating of the heart ah okay loud and you can hear it even when she so it's, a, you can hear it. so it's a serious situation she'll be healed now you're a doctor now wait you'll go to hospital tomorrow but for now my dear do you believe jesus will heal you completely lay one hand on your chest lord let her be healed right now the power of god is flowing through you just breathe in and out thank you jesus christ be healed right now by the power of the holy ghost be set free please check yourself lord have mercy on the father in the name of jesus how do you know now try it breathe in and out let's see thank you jesus christ let there be perfection in the name of jesus let there be perfection the devil wants to bring stroke as i just held you huh is that true you're already feeling half of you some okay you're that too of stroke because immediately I had I held your hand, I just saw stroke. Father, we rebuke that stroke in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed right now.
we are going to rebuke delay in marriage now rise up on your feet the devil is a liar please rise up on your feet some of you are smiling that means it doesn't concern you because those who it really concerns is a serious issue praise god hallelujah now i'm going to pray for you please follow me guys hallelujah most marital delays are demonic in nature and we're going to arrest it right now you can stand in for yourself you can stand in for your loved ones please lift your hands everybody you'll be amazed at what will happen right now everyone please lift your hands you can stand for yourself you can connect hallelujah at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus father i pray that as they shout that name every every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny goodness i sense the power of god in the name that is above all names father i pray that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two three i cast those spirits in the name of jesus let god's people go in the name of jesus out of them now by the power of the holy ghost inside and outside i command those powers to let you go now release their marital destinies now release their marital destinies now every cause that stops marriage in families in the name of the lord jesus i arrest it i arrest it by the power of the holy ghost shake we are still going to shout that name over this case the lord is not done yet lift your hands again i want you to shout it at the top of your voice and as you shout that name the fire of the holy ghost will hit you like a tornado god is visiting situations right now thank you jesus one shake it two get ready now get ready with your hands lifted three be released now be released now be released now i command chains chains marital chains be broken by the power of the holy ghost i command chains be broken in the name of jesus be broken in the name of jesus be broken let marital doors open in the name of jesus i prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names the bible says seek out of the book and read he said none of this shall fail none shall want her mate ladies wherever your husband is in the name that is above all names i call him into your life i call him into your life listen not a man your husband not a man your husband may he come into your life in the name of jesus and i prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names that sister that god has destined for you 
we release her into your life now 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 hallelujah now I'm going to pray for all sick people especially those who have come from everywhere while you come out do you have your prayer request please if you don't have it it's time to begin to write it now for all those who are sick you are sick in your body you came specifically for healing it's your time now please come out please come out come out just come and stand here everyone sick everyone sick inside and outside just find your way and line up here ushers just arrange them quickly stand here believing that god will set you free he that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life. Whatever the situation is, I'm going to lay hands on every one of you. And as I lay that hands upon you, hallelujah, I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life. Whatever the situation is, hallelujah. Worship team, lead us in a powerful moment of worship. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you for healing in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are sitting, please write your prayer requests. Once you are done, just begin to pray in tongues and then we'll do this very quickly. My God is awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal now. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hide me from the rain. I cause everything that is not of God. My God. Out. My God is awesome. Heal now. When I'm broken. Praise me. My God is he, he can hold in the name of Jesus. Strength for you. I cause sickness. I want you to believe that God is setting you free. My God. Heal. In the name of Jesus. He healed mommy in the name of Jesus.
My God is thank you, Lord awesome. Jesus Christ. He can move mountains. Be healed now. He Please, while you're seated, just pray in tongues. Shape a lot of us. Hide me thank from you, Lord the Jesus Christ. Rain. My God. Jesus Christ, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Perfection. Now, in the name of Jesus, perfection in your body. Right now, in the name of Jesus.
stand up. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Promotion neither comes from the east nor the west in the name that is above all names. I pray may the lord give you a miracle job in the name of jesus i speak it and i prophesy it may my god give you a miracle job in the name of jesus as you are lifting up that hands let an anointing come upon that hand keep it lifted please that hand that is lifted i pray let an anointing come upon it the oil of gladness that sets you above your equals receive it in the name of jesus everywhere you have submitted your cv i pray may my god cause them to visit you in the name of jesus and every power that is stopping your job in the name that is above all names shake it the four horns that lift up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, against Israel. I command right now, let those doors of jobs be opened supernaturally. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please everybody stand. Submit your prayer request. Do we have it? This is a very prophetic moment. We have a few minutes, but this is where everybody gets to receive. Please. I want you to be very, very sensitive. If you've not submitted your prayer request, please just do that quickly. This, this, just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very, very prophetic what we're about to do. Any more people, please, quickly. We have a God that answers prayers here. Sutatata balada brada ba. Zeke te prege de bela de bos. 
Hallelujah. This is the second time God is giving me this instruction. Usually we just pray on it and once we are done here. But this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night. There is a God that answers prayers. And Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar. He said, Lord, behold their threatenings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray. Hallelujah. These requests represent impossible situations for some. Hallelujah. Situations that only the power of God can change. There are some situations here, if we have to read it, even we the men of God will be discouraged because of the kind of request. That's why we don't bother reading it. We just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth. I want you to know that within these few minutes, I want you to pray from the depths of your heart. And those following us online, now is the time for them to connect. Hallelujah. Because as we pray over these requests, the power of God will turn this request into testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We're going to pray. Pastor Alpha, come. Femi, come. Benga, come. Just pray. Lay hands on this and prophesy. Stretch your hands, everybody, towards this request and begin to pray. Begin to pray and prophesy. Hallelujah. Zekata baba baba kata prega de baladarash. Zekete prondo koso prega de baladarash. Zete pro shapara da baladarara. Zekete baladarabos. Everybody, stretch your hands and begin to declare and say, Lord, whatever I wrote here is turned into a testimony. Zekete te 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 pakata. Rapaka pro so so pretekate. Sidebo shobro dos coprendecate. Shekata tata baladara. Shopro toko to pregade baladara bos. Lord, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, change this situation. Change this situation. Sekata tata 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 Rekete bokoto preke de banana bos, bata kapa bakate, e preke te lekete, so teke te pros, e preke te lekete te te, rekete rekese, e pros ko proto subai, lekete banana bakata preke de banana bos. In the name of Jesus, we turn this to testimony. of Jesus Lord under this corporate anointing we release answers to this request we release answers to this request let them receive emergency attention of heaven now in the name of Jesus we release answers now in the name of Jesus thank you because with God nothing shall be impossible and thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed in Jesus name we pray hallelujah please everybody stand those who are visiting with us all those who are who came from outside Zaria please come out I'll minister to you now I want you to come out expecting the Lord there are so many people who have come from different places please just come out I'll pray for them and I'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction hallelujah it's not enough to come and watch miracles hallelujah but you are going to pray that you carry this anointing hallelujah and you represent the kingdom thank you so much for those who came lizzie and her friends thank you so much all the way from abuja thank you pastor alpha all the way from kogi state eddie from joss Lunging from Abuja, I see a number of people.
hallelujah please i want you to believe i don't know what you came here for but i really want you to believe by the power of the holy ghost i want you to believe i'm going to minister to you two things will happen to you whatever situation you came here trusting god for i'm going to release my faith with you and secondly that you will carry an anointing i tell you something will come heavy upon your life you will carry an anointing you will carry an anointing you will carry an anointing in the name of jesus christ just clash the cymbals please play strings 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 in the name of jesus anoint them in the name of jesus be blessed take an anointing back be blessed in the name of jesus be healed be blessed take this anointing back in the name of jesus take this anointing in the name of jesus awesome is your name walk in greater levels of power greater levels of power in the name of jesus you do glorious things your name take an anointing in the name of jesus christ break through every closed door i open it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You do glorious things. Your Take this anointing with you. God. In the name of Jesus. Awesome to your locality. Do mighty things for the Lord. I release your marital destiny what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Take this anointing. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. In the name of Jesus, God, let the fragrance of the spirit be upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. I command breakthrough. I hear my spirit breakthrough. I release breakthrough. Breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. Breakthrough. Breakthrough, financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the world grow in the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let an anointing come. Great apostolic signs. Great Closed door that I see in the name of Jesus. I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing that it makes you mighty. Break 
breakthrough breakthrough supernatural breakthrough by the power of the holy ghost i cause that spirit that limits you i cause that spirit in the name of jesus please everybody stand up the time is against us please everybody rise I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives please lift your hands something will come upon your life hallelujah this is where certain people will receive something I want to impart the gifts of the spirit I already sense a strong atmosphere lift your hands in the name of the lord jesus the healing anointing is going to come on many people now take it now take it now take it now the healing anointing inside and outside take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost, take it now. Take it now. Go and heal the sick. Go and heal the sick. You will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. You will cast out devils. Shake it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. I pray. I command the prophetic, let it be activated now. Prophetic fountains, be open now. Visions, dreams, I command. In the name of Jesus, receive it. An unction, you don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out. We activate it. Take it now. Supernatural experiences, dreams. Visions. So potopate. I command leadership mantles. Leadership mantles. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Strong leadership mantles. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Stop I'm about to pray the nine gifts of the Spirit and many more listed in the Bible in the name of the Lord Jesus. At the count of three, different gifts will be activated in people right now. One, two, three. Receive it. Word of knowledge, word of wisdom, prophecy, tongues interpretation of tongues take it now i activate the full power of the spirit i activate it inside and outside take it let the holy ghost come upon you in power receive it receive it gifts of healing Word of knowledge, gifts of prophecy. It will come like fire. It will come like fire. It will burn you. It will come like fire. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Two of you hold your hands. Hold your hand. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it I activate the gifts of the Spirit. Every apostolic ministry in this place. Take the fire, take the fire, take the fire. Every apostolic ministry, take the fire. Every prophetic ministry, 
take the fire take the fire take the fire hallelujah there are many of you who are kingdom financiers financial apostles everyone will be blessed but there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them take it ideas i activate it by the power of the holy ghost financial apostles arise arise take the kingdom Sekete, rekete, rekete, tete, maka prateke, empletos kepa, matos kopo rekete. Setete baka bala bala. Now I want to prophesy very quickly please i want you to shout amen every closed door over your life in the name that is above all names be open now be open now be open now every closed door be open now 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 i pray right now every opportunity you have lost i don't care what it is i prophesy right now receive restoration receive restoration by the power of the holy ghost receive restoration now receive restoration now hallelujah every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names i command those families to be free now be free now free from hardship free from hardship the bible says to appoint unto them that morning zion i pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names i cause it to its root now I cause it to its root now. I cause it to its root now. I pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life, every destiny helper, I don't care where they are right now, in the name of Jesus, like Prophet Ezekiel, I call them Matebalaya. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. Destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise arise hallelujah wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this faithful anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor i command favor in the name of jesus 
whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of ezekiel share ye the word of the lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage i come with a prophetic voice share ye the word of the lord come alive now come alive now come alive now come alive now i prophesy that by the next miracle service you will return with a change of garment that everyone that sees you will know that my god has visited you every ministry every fellowship every group every church every assembly represented here i pray let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry everything you see happening here go and reproduce it in the name of jesus i release upon you that power in the name that is above all names whatever has stopped your church from growing whatever has stopped your ministry from growing i command ministry grow church grow in the name of jesus hallelujah lord we give you the praise i'm going to make an altar call right now if you're here and you've never given your heart to the lord jesus please listen this is a very serious moment we're out of time you've never made jesus lord of your life inside and outside you probably were invited you may have been a christian but you've never truly declared the lordship of christ i'm going to invite you to come here or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing this is the greatest miracle please everybody rise just one minute just to encourage those who are coming out please let's rise right now you belong to that category you are saying lord i return to you i don't care whether you've been born again before please i want you to leave your seat and come out right now leave your seat and come out right now you want to make a decision you are making a decision for the lord jesus for the first time please listen or you've given your heart to the lord but you found yourself backsliding don't wait for anybody you are the first person please appreciate them i believe there are people god bless you god bless you thank you thank you thank you they are coming koinonia celebrate them inside and outside thank you for the courage we salute your courage god bless you god bless you keep coming keep coming it's a new day it's a new season you are saying goodbye to yesterday and god gives you the gift of tomorrow to remedy for the mistakes of yesterday thank you jesus for these ones keep coming keep coming god bless you no matter how far keep coming don't be afraid don't be ashamed of anybody it's a personal affair tonight thank you jesus hallelujah i salute your courage for those of you who took out the time to come lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem i want you to say after me lord jesus i love you and i believe in you i believe you died for me i believe you shed your blood to set me free i receive that freedom tonight and i receive eternal life into my spirit in the name of jesus from today i declare that i'm born again i'm a child of god holy spirit come and live in me i make up my mind to live for jesus all the days of my life forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for making that decision let me pray for you father preserve these ones
you brought them out by your power preserve them in the name of the lord jesus may your christian experience be authentic in the name of the lord jesus thank you so much for making this decision where are they following okay you have a gentleman just lead you that gentleman waving his hands please just follow them they'll have your details and you'll be back to your seat celebrate jesus hallelujah please all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time attending any of our meetings we love you we celebrate you please rise up on your feet and just come out here koinonia celebrate them all who have come from far and near this is your first time you are very very welcome celebrate them appreciate them thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you no matter how far come there is a blessing for you there is a prayer for you the lord brought you here to bless you thank you so much koinonia is this the best you can do lord jesus we thank you for bringing these ones hallelujah hallelujah thank you so much for coming all of you who took out the time to come we really celebrate you we appreciate you hallelujah this is koinonia ministry put together a program put together by eternity network international thank you so much for coming we are here every friday not this exact venue but every friday as god grants you the grace it will always be a blessing having you around praise the lord we have a blessing in the house and this is the gift we release to everyone who comes and i want the saints of god to stretch their hands and just bless you i want you to receive it please bless them professor you have a blessing upon your lips i want you to speak it we bless you let the hand of god be strong upon your life in the name of jesus we bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit we bless you with passion for god in the name of jesus we bless you with advancement we bless you with favor we bless you with speed in the name of jesus may you experience the power of god strong in your life we bless your finances let the heavens be open over your life in the name of jesus thank you again for coming we love you and we celebrate you now we just like you to follow the ushers that gentleman waving his hands and they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye